Hey, Ari Bixhorn from the Internet Explorer team here to show you three new demos that we're shipping as part of Internet Explorer 10 Platform Preview 2. The first demo is inspired by the Bellagio Fountains in Las Vegas, and this demo highlights the new Web Workers functionality we're shipping in IE10. Web Workers allow you to take long running, compute intensive JavaScript and move it out of the web page into a separate worker. The benefit is that this allows the web page to remain responsive and also have a more consistent frame rate. In this case, the calculations for rendering the fountains are being offloaded into a worker, and this gives us about 30 frames per second. Now if we turn this off, we're going to see the frame rate drop from about 30 frames per second down to under 20 frames per second. This demo also takes advantage of IE10 support for message channel to calculate some cool lighting effects on the fountains. Now some other browsers don't support message channel yet, so you'll be able to view the scene but not see the lighting. All right, that's a quick look at web workers. The second demo highlights new HTML5 drag and drop and file API capabilities that are built into IE10. This demo is inspired by the popular fridge magnet game, and as we can see here, by using drag and drop, I can grab a magnet, drag it, and drop it onto the fridge, which is an HTML5 canvas. What's cool about this is that it only takes a couple of lines of code to implement this drag and drop functionality. Now when you combine this drag and drop with the file API, I can take a file from outside of the browser and drag it into the browser as we see here. And then I can move it around on the canvas. Let's look at that one more time. All right, that's drag and drop and file API in IE10. Last but not least, let's talk about browser speed. This is an area where we've made huge gains in IE9 and we're continuing to invest heavily there in IE10. This demo is called Fireflies. And Fireflies is a complex scene that's made up of HTML5 canvas, two streams of audio, multiple images, and video. Now because of the way that IE10 uses hardware acceleration, we're able to offload the processor intensive graphics and sound to the GPU. And the result is we get a really smooth animation with frame rates between 35 and 45 frames per second. Now other browsers support hardware acceleration, but not to the same extent as IE. For example, if we run the same site in Chrome 13 beta, we'll see that it's going to take longer to load, the animation won't be as smooth, and we'll have lower frame rates. All right, so that is three new test drive demos that we're shipping as part of IE10 Platform Preview 2, highlighting web workers functionality, drag and drop, file API, and speed improvements. For more information, check out ietestdrive.com.